Hello and welcome to Chicory's Maintenance Series. Last week we talked about digitizing the upper helm and this week uh, we're going to start on that project with uh, putting rudder angle indicators on the N2K network. One of the things I have here is a rudder angle adapter from uh, Meritron and what this does is it plugs into the N2K network and it hooks up to one of two different kinds of resistive uh, rudder angle indicators. And what I did uh, for the rudder angle indicator is I purchased a VDO resistive uh, angle indicator that uh, I will hook this device to. This will be hooked to uh, the rudder and it will indicate the uh, angle of the rudder. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, instead of installing all this and then testing it, which has um, been issues in the past, I'm going to hook everything up just as it is like this to my N2K network. I'm going to manually move this and watch um, N2K view to make sure that I'm getting the results I want before I run all these wires and install this. So that'll be the next step in a minute. I'll be back. Okay, so I have N2K analyzer up and I'm going to click on this RAA100, which is the um, rudder angle indicator component from Meritron. I'm going to configure the device. And then I'm going to go to uh, rudder angle calibration. And this unit, what's kind of cool about it, it can have American standard, which is uh, 240 to 33 ohms, or European, which is 10 to 180 ohms. This happens to be European standard, so I click on that, and then I'm going to put that configuration to the device. So basically, I'm sending that information across the NA, uh, enemy A2000 network to that little box that you saw. And then I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to go back into this, and I'm going to see analyzed transmitted PGNs. So this is all the information that's being transmitted. And you can see the numbers are moving, um, telling me that I'm getting data. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so Tracy can see better. So this is the rudder angle position right now that's being transmitted, negative 13.235 degrees. Very interesting that it's uh, three decimal places after uh, the degrees. So I'm going to go down uh, in the engine room right now where I have this temporarily hooked up and I'm going to actuate the actual rudder indicator sender that I showed you in the first part of the video. And Tracy's going to zoom in on this and we'll see if that works. back up and Tracy did that read back and forth it did okay so now we're ready to start installing it because we've confirmed that everything works and I'll show you that in one second okay so now that we've tested that uh, the equipment works now I'm running the wiring it's about at Tracy's feet and I'm running it uh, along this wall in the engine room where the fuel tanks are and then I'm running it into the lazarette where of course the rudder angle indicator has to be. So that's just the next step. I am running the wiring and then zip tying it into position. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm in the lazarette and I'm going to tell you what's going on here. So uh, here's my rudder tiller and I have that connected to two rudder angle indicators. These are each for my redundant autopilots. Uh, each autopilot has its own rudder angle indicator. So as the tiller moves, this rod is connected to these two. These two connect these two rudder indicator uh, together. And then I have another rod that runs over here to this indicator, which is the original Raritan um, rudder angle indicator at the upper helm. This was actually the first thing I installed in uh, 2006, my first project basically on the boat. And so my plan is, 
is I'm going to cut this shaft. I'm going to put this heim joint on the end here, and this will articulate this rotary indicator. The thing that I need to do is, I don't know if you can see, but there's a screw here where the shaft is adjustable. So one of the things I have to do is figure out how long this shaft will be so that the throw will be correct. Uh, I'm going to have it positioned about as far over as I can, maybe about here. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut in, uh, this rod, install the heim joint on here, loosen this up, and then we'll start to do some adjustments, but I'll show that next section. But uh, for right now, I'm going to connect this tie rod to this. I'll be back in a second. So here's the rod I took off with the two heim joints uh, on the end, and this is where I was going to cut it to make a new one. But as I pulled out my parts bin, I had two other heim joints and a smaller sh uh, shaft already. So this is the size of this assembly. Um, so I'm just gonna use this one. Um, that way I can use this one uh, in the future as a spare. Apparently Jet's decided to walk by. Um, so the next step is installing this along with the sender and testing it. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I have this mocked up right now. The new sending unit's here. You can see that I have it connected here with the little tie rod with the two heim joints. What's happening now is I need to make sure that the throw of this connection point here uh, will actuate this the whole way. You, you can see that this has an adjustable shaft length. So right now I'm basically just determining how long this shaft should be. So I'm going to have Tracy steer the boat lock to lock, and I'm going to adjust the position of the length of this rod until it is registering on this sender, basically lock to lock, and then I can screw it down to this board and then do the final calibration and everything will be good. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, I have Tracy at the helm right now with the follow-up tiller and I'm uh, just testing where our position is, making sure that everything is right and it uh, doesn't bind. So Tracy, go all the way to port. That's perfect. Center. Perfect. All the way to starboard. Okay, now that we've figured out all the hardware is hooked up correctly, now we're going to calibrate. So I'm going to go back to the device, right click, configure device, and then I'm going to go into Ruddle Angle Calibration, and it tells me to turn the wheel hard over to starboard, so I'm going to do that. And my SIMRAD says it's 33 degrees. So I'm going to select rudder angle using the given control box. And so I'm going to move this to 33 degrees. And then I'm going to calibrate starboard. Uh, center the rudder and press OK to set rudder angle at center. So I'm going to center the rudder I'm just waiting to, to get back to zero. I have my uh, autopilot set up so that it does a counter steer after you do a steer to keep the boat tracking better. So I'm just waiting for that counter steer to stop. And now I'm going to hit okay. And then I'm going to go all the way to port. And on my setup, I'm 34 degrees to port. There's just a little bit difference between how far I can steer port and starboard. And then I'm going to calibrate port. Little angle is complete successful. So I'm going to say OK. I don't know if I need to put configuration to device, but I'm going to do it because it's not going to hurt at all. 
and then I'm going to close and then I'm going to open this up again and analyze transmitted. I'm going to go to rudder, expand that, look at the position, 33.14, that's close enough for me, I'm at 34. I'm going to go to zero. Negative one, it's not perfect. Then I want to go to the other side. And 33. So I'm going to go back to zero. Oh, there's zero. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to do this one more time. All the way over one way, 33, that's excellent. All the way the other way. 33 to center and zero. I'm very pleased with that. So now I'm going to set up the Meritron to display this. I'll be back in a minute. Now that we've calibrated the rudder indicator, we're going to make a screen for it. This is our normal underway screen. If you tap on the screen, it shows you all your screens available. Uh, we have one set up for the iPad right now, but I'm going to add a new one. And how I do that is I go over here to commands and settings and then uh, screen setup. I'm going to add a screen and I'm going to use the standard size. And for right now, I'm just going to draw an area this big. And I'm going to say, I wanna add a component there. I want it nice and big so when I'm at the pilot uh, upper helm, I'm gonna scroll down through all of my options that are available. And now that I've added a rudder, you can see now that it's black, it has shown up. I'm gonna tell it that I wanna indicate the rudder angle. Digital one by one is fine. Everything else is good. I'm going to say save. And I'm going to save again. So this is what the screen will look like on the iPad. I'm going to save and exit. So th pretend this is an iPad, and I'm just looking at that. I'm going to switch over to follow-up so I can test this. We're at zero right now. I'm going to go all the way over to starboard, and then to port. And then back to center. I am super happy with that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna say that this project is done. I have to do a little bit of cleanup. I have to load this to the iPad, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, just pass it over the network. But until next time, uh, I appreciate that you hung in with me and that you viewed, commented, liked, and subscribed. Until next week, thanks.